hey guys welcome to a new video in this video we are going to talk about a lead code problem called valid anagram so in this question we are given two strings s and t we need to return true if t is an anagram of s else we return false by definition an anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase typically using all the original letters exactly once by this definition you can conclude that both the strings should have the same length or else this condition will fail where it says all the original letters need to be used exactly one all the letters should be used for that both of them should have the same length so that will be our first base check these two strings are not having the same length we can return false coming to the function they have given us this is the function name and these are the two strings given as parameters s and t and the return type is boolean which means that you have to return true or false as the output now let's take a look at the examples and see how this problem can be solved so let's take a look at the example one so we are given a string s and this is the string t so the intuition behind the solution should be that we have to find out if the string t is using all the original letters of string s exactly once so we are concerned with the frequency that is the count of the characters present the first idea that should come into your mind is that you have to find the characters frequency inside s for that you can use a count array of length 26 because the characters are going to be lowercase english letters only so let me create a array of length 26 so this is the count array and this is the string s and this is the string t first let's find out the frequency of characters present in the string s let's iterate through the string from left to right and we access each character at a time i'll show you during coding how we are storing the characters frequency inside this array as of now we are at character a so increment its count move on character n increment its count to one character a again increment its count character g increment its count character r increment its count character a again increment its count character m increment its count and we reach the end of the string now we have the frequency of characters of s inside the count array and all the elements which are initially zero will remain zero for those characters now let's iterate through the string t from left to right and use the count array and decrement the characters frequency according to the characters present inside t so let's start with the first character which is n decrement its count n was initially 1 it will become 0 let's move on we we encounter a decrement its count 3 will become 2 let's move further g it was 1 it will become 0 a again it is 2 it will become 1 r it is 1 it will become 0 we encounter a it is 1 it will become 0 m it is 1 it will become 0 now we have an array and we processed both the strings s and t now let's go back to the definition of anagram again a word is an anagram if all the original letters were used exactly once to form a new string s initially the count array was all zeros and once we process the two strings again it is all zeros so let's iterate through the count array from left to right if we find all zeros until we reach the end of the array starting from here it means that two strings are anagrams if at any point we find a value greater than zero for example if after processing both the strings if this was two and if h was 1 and once we start iterating again from left to right so we check each string's value if it is greater than 0 here we see there is a value greater than 0 so after processing still there is a character which is remaining so we can say that those two strings are not anagrams so here in this case you return true as the output if you find no zeros and here in this case you return false as the output if you find any value greater than zero at any point inside the count array so in this case we found all zeros so you return true as the output now let's see how we can code this let's start by checking the base check that if the length of the two strings is not same we'll return false now let's find out the frequency of characters in the s string for that i'm going to use an array of length 26 because it says s and t consists of only lowercase letters and there are 26 lowercase letters now let's iterate through the string s using a for loop now let's extract the character in each iteration 
And now let's find out the count of this character and place it inside the count array. So each time you find out that character, we increment its count. We are doing minus a because the integer value of a is 97 and it will be subtracted from that character's value and place it at its corresponding position inside this array. Now let's do the same for t count. Now we have all the characters present inside the count array. Now we have the frequency of the characters inside us present inside the count array. Now let's use this count array to check for the frequencies for the t string. For that I am iterating through the t string. Now extract that character. Now subtract the frequency of that character from the count array. Now if these two strings are anagrams, the count array should have all zeros. Now if there is at least one element inside the count array having value greater than zero, it means it is not an anagram and we return false. So let's iterate through the count array. So we are iterating from the zeroth index till the end of the count array. You can replace this with 26 because we know it's a fixed length of 26. Now let's check each element inside the count array. If count of i is greater than 0, then we can return false. And once we check all the 26 characters, and if we didn't find even one zero, we didn't return false, we can come out of the loop and return true, which says these two strings are anagrams. Now let's run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code. There you have it, a solution has been accepted. The time complexity of this approach is O of n, where n is the length of the string s or t because s or t will have the same length. The time complexity will not be the longer of the two strings and the space complexity is O of 26, which indirectly means the space complexity is constant, which is O of 1. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.